Hello everyone, for today's video I just want to quickly show you how to set up your FlowClear or best way Wi-Fi pool filter. This is the pump that comes with my pool and basically you can set it up with your Wi-Fi and control it on your app. So if you want to turn it on when you're away from home, you can always do that from your phone which is really good. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your app store. If you have an iPhone, you go to the Apple App Store. And if you have an Android, just go to the Google Play Store. And you want to look for the Best Way Smart Hub app. Okay. So you want to download that. It's going to ask you to create an account. And once you create an account, let me go ahead and open this since I already have it. Um, you're going to go into the home screen. And once you go to the home screen, all you need to do is click on Add Products. And you can click on pool control and it says here to press and hold the power button on your power product for five seconds make sure the Wi-Fi indicator light is flashing so right now I don't have my pump plug in yet so I'm gonna plug it in okay and once you plug it in you have test and reset button make sure you press the reset button because uh, once you plug it in it's default to uh, test so you just want to click on reset button once you plug it in and press the reset button, you're going to notice that you have a green Wi-Fi blinking light right here. What you want to do is go into your app and then here just click uh, product is power on and then click the confirm button. Okay. So once you do that, it's going to ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi network. This product only works on a 2.4 gigahertz network which is good because 2.4 gigahertz network have a longer range so your pool is probably going to be in your backyard away from your router with a 2.4 gigahertz network it should be able to reach this device and uh, you should be able to set it up okay so uh, my setup is i actually have a dual band network and basically i have one wi-fi name for my 2.4 gigahertz and my 5 gigahertz networks. I'm gonna see if it'll be able to set it up, but if it doesn't work, what you wanna do is you want to create a separate name for your 2.4 gigahertz network so that you can set up your device because some of the products, especially those that are non-branded, doesn't work well when you have one Wi-Fi name for both of your 5 and 2 gigahertz networks. So what I'm gonna do here is just gonna click next step and it says here connect your phone to BW FlowClear and return to this app and the product password will be 12345 so I'm gonna go ahead and click on change Wi-Fi and it's going to look for all the Wi-Fi available in my area and I'm just gonna click on the BW FlowClear and the password here is one two three four five six seven eight nine so i just want to make sure i have that correct and just click connect and now it says it's connected with no internet okay so top four options i'll just say just keep connected to it Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and you can see right now it's initializing now so this thing should be able to do the connection itself so you can see right now it's still blinking and now it's turned solid red and now my app shows select product room so all I have to do is click on pool and I'm gonna name this Coleman because that's the brand of my pool and now I have this pool right here. Now if you look into the app, uh, I have an option to turn it on. So basically right now the way it works is you cannot schedule it. What it does is it uses your phone and basically once you turn this thing on, it's going to turn on at the same time every day. So right now if I turn this on, it's going to run for 10 hours. It's going to turn off by itself after 10 hours. And then tomorrow at 2.38, it's going to run again. The good thing with this is since you have control on the app, no matter where you are, let's say you have work the next day, but you want this to turn on at 8 a.m., you can just go back here and turn it on again. 
it's going to reset that 24 hour cycle so it's gonna start if I turn it on tomorrow in the app at 8 a.m. it's gonna start doing the cycle and run every 8 a.m. okay so for now I'm gonna run this thing and make sure that when you run this that you have primed your pump properly okay I have another video on how to do that uh, basically you want to have all your hoses filled with water and your pump filled with water as well okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this thing on and now I have it 10 hours I can change the time from 10 hours and going to uh, one hour okay so the maximum time that you can run this is 10 hours and then it will turn off by itself and then at the same time the next day it's gonna turn on again okay so let me go ahead and just leave this running for now and I hope that you found this video helpful to you please help my channel by clicking the like and the subscribe button and thank you for watching